Hi everybody. Um, we are so excited here at Joe Labs to be launching in Korea, in Seoul. I visited your beautiful uh, city many, many years ago and I am so utterly thrilled that we will be launching with you and sharing all the wonderful stories of Joe Labs and all the amazing products, um, painting you with fragrance and sharing tapas with you. Please come and visit us in our first flagship store in Korea, in Seoul. We can't wait to welcome you and paint you with fragrance. fragrances I'm I'm telling you the stories of, of things that happened to me in life so it might be uh, a person I met it might be a place I've gone to it might be that everything is all all about those moments and I always know when the moment is there because I literally I feel all the emotions and I start to piece together the fragrance in my head so I'm just going to tell you a few little examples like for instance pomelo so Pomelo was the very first fragrance that I created for Joe Loves and it was a walk in uh, along the beach very early one morning at Parrot Key in the Turks and Caicos with white sand dollars um, and a baby stingray came and sw swam right by the side as I was walking up the beach. So that's Pomelo and every time, every time I smell Pomelo I'm back on that white beach. I've got my swimsuit on, my flip flops and uh, walking along. Um, oh, white rose and lemon leaves. So this is white rose, and as you can see around the store, I love white. I love the kind of, I love the whiteness and the cleanness of things, and I love things that stand in space that you can feel around. It's like a white canvas. And white rose and lemon leaves is very much along those lines. Um, a couple of years ago, I was asked to create a fragrance that kind of depicted my country and I created white rose and lemon leaves and uh, the white roses signify the strength and the spirit of, um, of the British people. The lemon leaves come all the way in and take away some of the sweetness of that flower and add a wonderful fresh clean crisp cologne note but uh, white rose and lemon leaves is, is um, all about the, the Britishness of me and my, and my friends and family. I'm going to talk to you about three of my really favourite fragrances in Jo Lux. Um, the first one is Jo by Jo Lux, which is this whole banquet and mezze of grapefruit notes. I know that this is a favourite in Korea and it's also a favourite here in London and it's a favourite in Paris and New York. Everybody loves this fragrance. This was a fragrance I created for myself. Um, and I wear it every single day. It's this whole kind of rich grapefruit with peppers and spices and wonderful kind of lingering notes. And when it's dried on your skin, it has the most delicious. When it first goes on, you can smell all the, all the clean citrus notes, but then as it dries down, those wonderful woody spicy notes really appear. So. Mm, love that one. The second one I'm going to talk to you about is Pink Vetiver. Now this is um, this is something oh, I created right in the beginning of Joe Love, so it's, it's one of the very early ones. And I was visualizing a pinstripe suit, that's kind of where my mindset was. I was in Paris and I noticed that as well as walking down all those beautiful terracotta cobbled streets in Paris, um, all these amazing smells of colognes as people walked by, that very couture, classic, beautiful scent. And of course, I love Guerlain's Vetiver. It was a nod to that wonderful, wonderful note. But within this, I wanted to take Vetiver and make it really contemporary and different. That's always what I want to do. I want to take something traditional and wonderful and twist it and turn it and bring artistic um, twists to it. And here is an unexpected note of pink, crushed peppercorns. So you have this beautiful vetiver and then you have this pinstripes of pink crushed peppercorns running through with a very eau de cologne, really delicious. It's got a slight peppery but not as in um, not as in gourmand but it's just a very, this reminds me of very very crisp silk shirts, beautiful tie, pinstripe suits and just that wonderful artistic um, sway. So that is pink vetiver. 
and then mango with Thai lime. So mango and Thai lime uh, was created in two places. It was created in Thailand and the Amapuri in Phuket and also in New York City in the Four Seasons. So a holiday one year we were sitting by the pool and somebody brought out this beautiful platter of ribbons of mango that had been shaved really, really fine for, um, for a little sort of appetizer, all grated with the, the fresh sort of wonderful lime over the top of it. And we sat and we enjoyed it. And as I tasted the mango and the Thai lime, I could just feel myself smile. It was sunshine, it was holidays, and it was that wonderful sweetness of honey of the mango. But that wasn't the place in which I really started to create. I was then in New York City, staying in the Four Seasons Hotel. And the Four Seasons Hotel had this amazing long bar that stretches all the way along. And I was waiting for someone, I was sitting at the bar and I was watching uh, the guy make these amazing cocktails. And I was noticing that he took something and he would add shots of things to it to change it. And when I saw Mango and Thai Lime, I thought, that is what I'm going to do. It's those moments that, that capture you in life and you just think, that I'm going to mimic and I'm going to copy, but in my world. And so that's when I created this wonderful honey mango and then I took a shot of Thai Lime. So this is Thailand and New York all mixed into one. And boy, does it make you smile. It's about sunshine and happiness. So when I visited um, Seoul in Korea a couple of years ago, I was actually there on a speaking engagement and I was telling the whole story of um, how Joe Loves came into being and you know, why I love fragrance. And uh, somebody said, what would Seoul smell like? And I have to say, I think I probably would choose this amazing fragrance. This is called Orange Butterflies. You can see all the little golden butterflies. So all the little pieces that, that put this one together, this is orange flower, orange blossom, new leaf, hetiga. It's all these golden nuggets of orange blossom. And there is a beautiful little garden in Grasse in France, and it has a perfume museum, but it has the most beautiful garden full of roses um, and orange blossom. And at a certain time of year, it's normally May, the orange blossom starts to open and smell. And all I could do was I imagined this, these incredible sort of notes and as you clapped your hands, all of the orange blossom just took off and they were like golden butterflies. And so for me, soul is very much about that. You love those kind of notes of beautiful, clean, crisp orange blossom, fresh, stemmy, um, very kind of regal and very, very sort of golden and, and, and beautiful. So my choice would have to be orange butterflies. So I think one of the most magical and amazing things about fragrance is the way that we can use it. So instead of thinking about just taking a bottle of fragrance and spraying it, think about yourself as though you were an artist and how you would use color. Because fragrance is exactly the same. So I'm gonna show you a, new, a very sort of creative way and if you were to put a palette of colour together to paint a beautiful picture, how would you take fragrance and do it exactly the same way? So we're going to use three products here. We're going to use a wonderful body graffiti spray, your fragrance. So that is really the canvas, that how you're going to paint your body. And then we're going to, I'm going to show you how to use these, which are the paintbrushes, which of course is revolutionising the way people are enjoying and wearing fragrance. So first of all, and the, all of these three fragrances will work together. So we've got Joe by Joe Love. So what we'll do, I'm just going to take it on my, do it myself. Um, some Joe by Joe Loves. So you're taking that all over your body and then you let it dry. And then you're going to take a paintbrush. These are, these are so incredible, they really are. And it's, it's a wonderful story how they came into being. When I come and visit you in Seoul, I promise you we'll sit down and I'll tell you all of the stories of how this came into being. But here we go, this is refillable. You click and you can see that there is a gel. Now that, this one is going to be the orange butterflies, the spirit of Seoul, the golden butterfly, the orange blossom, the orange flower. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paint into the Joe by Joe Loves. And then what you've got is you've got this wonderful sort of spicy, rich, um, 
really sharp grapefruit notes, and then you've got this wonderful orange blossom all the way through, bringing sort of a different dimension. Um, beautiful for brides, for weddings and anything like that. You can take a little bit into your hair or paint it down your back. Um, so you've got a little bit of orange butterflies. So you've got Joe by Joe Loves on first, then you've got the orange butterflies. And then last of all, these are just amazing. Look at this golden grapefruit. You can see that I love grapefruit. And then we're just gonna take a tiny little bit of grapefruit in. And that is how you enjoy Joe Loves and being experimental. And once you've done it once, trust me, you become a scent artist and you'll never wear fragrance in the same way again. Thank you.